Hey guys, it's Cab Over Gary back here. Well, so I'm out with my truck and uh, I've been getting, I got more than one questions on how to jack these trucks up, the cabs. So uh, I'm gonna do a short video on it. So let's get started on that. First thing you're going to have to do is there's one of these handles on both sides. Now they'll be vertical and you need to open them to this position. Most of them don't work anymore, but there is a pin where you gotta pull the lever out to get it past. And also, you never wanna just crank on these levers. These levers are known to just break. So what I usually do is this bar will be here. I put a good amount of pressure on that as I'm pulling this up, and that will help uh, save you from breaking this. Uh, so the next thing you need to do is locate your cab jack. Mine is down here, and that's what it looks like. So it's got this lever, so it's got an up and down, so this is the up position. I just put a 916 deep well on a couple extensions, and then you just start jacking it. Now there's this cable here that works this. This is a safety lock. So you have to pull this to get it up. Uh, so let me get to the next step here. So you're gonna hold the safety down and you're gonna pump it. Now it's gonna take quite a few pumps at first because there's a couple of safety locks that it's gonna undo. Uh, the most important one is the one on the shift. So now I'm to the point that it's starting to get to the cylinder jacks and the cab starting to lift. Then I lift it. I'll bring you back over here in one second and show you. So as I'm lifting it, there's a shift linkage that needs to be unhooked or it could break it. I've never had a problem with mine, but it is, ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get to see it. It is a rod. Let me see if I could get some light. It is that rod right there. This rod, where's my finger? That rod right there. And you want to make sure that's telescoping. So you can see the hydraulic line going into it right there. That's the lock. So as you pump this up, you want to see that sliding from there. You guys see what I mean? So it's extending and we don't have to worry about it breaking the shifter. So once you got those checks done, then you just gotta jack it up. And be mindful where your head and stuff is, because if the cab breaks or something, you don't want it crashing down on you. You just keep jacking it. Bring you in. So this is your safety. So you need that to go down and cover the cylinder, then this will hold it up. So then to lower it back down, you'll have to jack it up a little bit to be able to pull this lock 
back up and lock it into the position where it's locked up. And then you just flip this lever and the cab will start to drop. It's going to drop on the lock right now. And then uh, you do have, you can watch it drop, make sure the levers are all the way open. Pull this out at the last little bit so if you get past the safety lock. And then push these closed on both sides and you're ready to go. I hope that helps you guys uh, and uh, makes it so you can figure out how to do this and uh, make, never get under one of these cabs without it locked or all the way tilted over. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Think if that was helpful or not. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys on the next one.